Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is No Code School and today we're going to show you how you can create beautiful and smooth websites just like this in Canva. So let's get right into it. Here we are on canva.com and the first thing you do is come up here, click create a design and search up website and click that. And there we go. There's our blank canvas. Let's rename this to No Code school so let's start out with our first tab here templates canva provides you with a number of really eye-catching templates as you can see here i'm gonna go into this for you tab and see what they have for us oh this looks really nice let's try this and apply all five pages so here we have it our template has been applied to our canvas let's change a few things let's make this no code school resize it and nicely center it on the page and let's change this on here on the bottom and let's make it to educating the public and there we go that's how templates work you can apply them onto your canvas and just change them however you want let's go back our next tab is elements elements are assets that canva provides that you can add onto your page such as graphics photos videos for our next page here, let's change our photo of this person here. Let's say we want a picture of a random person and see what comes up. Okay, let's we can drag this in into our canvas and it fits right into the template here. And let's change his name to Brian. We can leave the rest of the text the same. So that's how you add photos. Similarly, you can search in graphics, videos and audio. Next, we move on to uploads. This is where Canva allows you to upload any images, videos or audio right from your PC into the website. Here I've uploaded an image of a few no code tools. Let's add an extra page and double click this to add it onto our page. There we go. It's right there. Let's see if I can center this. Nice. So that's how you use the uploads tab. You just upload any images, videos or audio from your PC. Next, let's move on to the text tab. Here Canva provides you with a bunch of fonts, some which are free and some which are premium and you can make your own custom headings. Let's say we want to add one of those and say speed is of the essence. Okay, and let's move that up here and there we go. That's how you add custom headings. There are different sizes of headings you can add. Let's add a subheading say that's right and bring it down here. That's how you add headings in Canva. Next, let's move on to styles. In styles, you can change the color and font of your page with a single click. Let's go back to our front page for this demonstration. And suppose you want to choose any one of these themes. Let's go with this one. We just double click it and it applies itself onto our page. That's how easy it is. Let's undo this. And suppose you want to change just the color. Again, you just double click it and it applies. Or if you want to change just the font, double click and it applies. Easy as that. Now moving on to the next tab, background. Suppose you have a blank page like this and you want to add a background. Maybe you want a solid color like this or you want to add one of these backgrounds that Canva provides like this. You just click it and it applies itself onto the page. That's how backgrounds work. You can either add a solid color or one of these pre-made backgrounds that Canva provides. Now let's move on to the more tab. Here we can see there's photos, audio and video that we've covered already. But there is another option here called charts. Here on the charts tab, there are a lot of options for you to choose from. Let's choose the first one right here and add it onto our page. It's a progress ring and we can increase or decrease the percentage and the line weight. So a lot of customizability here. Suppose you want a percentage label. Wow, that's nice actually. And rounded endpoints. Okay. So like that, there are a bunch of charts you can choose from and you can change the colors. Let's make it red. You can change the font and the regular text formatting options. Coming back to our more tab here. Here we have apps and integrations. This is where Canva allows you to integrate the functionality of various applications right into your website. Let's say we want to add Pexels. Pexels provides images for you to add onto your page. 
let's say we want to add a random image onto our page let's click the first one you just click it and it comes onto your page just like that other integrations you could add like emojis facebook google maps suppose you want to add a location to your website let's add the coliseum and there it is it just appears onto your page and just like that there are a bunch of integrations that you can add onto your page that's it for our left side tabs there is another feature i want to show you let's go back to the front page and click the text we have an animate option let's click that in this tab you can give a bunch of animations there's a lot of choices for you to choose from personally i like this block animation but there are a variety of options such as these but for now let's go with the block animation and similarly you can animate almost any element on your web page suppose you just click the whole background and click animate you can have everything come in as a block or breathe let's make it block i really like the block animation yeah just like that and you can set the timing of it as well let's keep it at 5 seconds that's a good animation time so those are some of the basic features of canva that we've shown you here today now i'm just going to add a few more touches and then we can move on to how you can host your website So you're done with your website, you've designed all the pages and you're ready to publish it. Canva does provide the option of publishing right here in the website. We come up here to publish as website and you can choose from a few different web styles. You can have it in presentation form, scrolling, classic navigation or standard. For our purposes, let's go with scrolling and let's open website. And there we go. All laid out our website in scrolling format and all the pages pop up. one below the other very nicely done the positive is to hosting your website on canva itself is that any changes you make will immediately be reflected in the website but there is another hosting option that i want to show you it's called static.app now this is a free website hosting service you go here and create an account and click new website and you go back to the web preview of your website on canva and click save as and save it to your pc and you go to where it was saved rename this file to index.html and compress them together now we have a zip file you drag it into your browser into static.app and you wait for it to upload there we go let's change the name no code school and let's change the description to educating the public save changes and here we can see our website has been uploaded so we come up here down to domains and let's change our domain name to let's say ncs ncs save Another thing I want to mention here is that static.app provides a custom domain feature. So suppose you bought a domain from let's say GoDaddy, you can use this feature to host your website in this domain that you bought. All you have to do is follow these instructions that are given here in this gray box and you'll be set. And now our website should be up and running if we go to the address right here. There we go. Our website is hosted on static.app. The benefits of using hosting services like this are since you have the raw html in your hand it opens up a number of possibilities firstly you can go from an idea for a website to a full fledged fully functional website in just a matter of minutes secondly since you have the html files you can create a basic skeleton of a website and hand it over to a third party design team to improve on it so in that way communication with design teams becomes faster thirdly you can add various html code snippets into your base file that provide various different functionalities such as forms chatbots or even live chat tools these are some of the upsides of using hosting services such as these so in this video we've shown you how you can create beautiful websites on canva and how you can host it using static.app we hope you learned something and if there are any no code tools that you would like to know more about please mention them down in the comments below with that aside subscribe to the channel for more no code tutorials like this and we'll see you in the next one bye